small course. No challenge is too big. The race is on for the title of America's first Master Chef Junior. Hello, YouTube. I'm here with Gordon Ramsay himself from Master Chef Junior. All right. So, what was it like going from working with adults and critiquing their work to going with kids and critiquing their work? That's a good question. Um, first of all, working with these youngsters, there was no fear. So you had to slow them down a little bit. Um, you had to taper that level of discipline. But once you got them turned on, excited, motivated, all of a sudden, you know, they grabbed it and ran away with it. So it was, uh, it was pretty inspirational because um, they're less precious than adults, uh, less sensitive, and they were so eager to learn. But once they've grasped what you were trying to tell them, all of a sudden they turned into like little talented monsters because they got better and better and better. So, big surprise. I'm here with Gavin from MasterChef Junior. What's up? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. So what are we not going to be expecting at home that will be on the show? Uh, you won't be expecting probably that kids can cook so well. Probably when you think of kids, you think, oh, they're, they're fine. They're okay. But when you see this show, you're like, kids can make that? It's amazing. So what does it feel like seeing your guys' faces on TV when you're watching stuff with your family? Um, I think it's going to be really cool and really fun, and I think it's a great opportunity. So what was the weirdest thing that happened to you on this competition with all the challenges going on? Uh, I think the weirdest thing was like uh, the cooking, too, but um, just waiting. It's the weirdest thing because you're you're like oh my gosh that person's dish is perfect I hope mine's like that and then they're coming to you they're coming to you and then you get picked and you're super duper nervous and you walk up there and you hope you don't trip and drop your food I've never seen that happen but you know you could be the first today I'm here and these kids are promoting Master Chef Junior and I'm here with Tommy Molly Sarah and Dara what was the hardest challenge on the show for each of you I think the hardest challenge for me was probably uh, the restaurant takeover um, we're 8 to 13 year olds taking over a restaurant that's very high class. I mean, who would ever think of that? Definitely the restaurant takeover, especially because I was so small, like, I couldn't bring food up or else it would, like, tilt. Ooh, yeah, that would have been bad. <laughs> I think every challenge is a hard challenge. I mean, you have to get through it no matter what to the next round. Personally, having to make my own pasta was a really big challenge. The most unexpected thing you're going to see on Master Tuna is there is one stage in the competition where they produced a stunning array of dishes that was actually better than the main competition Master Chef, and we were we, we, we were speechless. I mean, seriously speechless. So there was this moment when those competitions turn, and you just think, "Wow, this is incredible." I mean, really incredible, um, eye-watering. But for me, the biggest moment was when we did the restaurant takeover. And we put them into a professional restaurant. They ran the dining room, they ran the kitchen. And then at the end of uh, dinner, I asked the guests in the dining room, would you like to meet the chefs? The door opened, they're all looking around left and right. Um, and within seconds, the dining room just burst into tears. Because out came eight, nine, 10, 11 year olds um, having cooked a fully booked dining room's lunch. Hi, I'm Gordon Ramsay, and you're watching Totally Lexi. Thank you, Dave. I've always wanted to be on TV since I'm a little kid, and I've always wanted to cook, and these are just two things combined together. It's just like right timing, perfect.